We are now a day away from the world's luckiest holiday, of course, St. Patrick's Day. Thousands of people around the world are going to celebrate. Are you? Travel Zoo Senior Editor Gabe Saglier has been traveling through Ireland this week ahead of the holiday. He is live right now in Kilkenny, Ireland with some of the highlights and a peek at the country gearing up for the big day in this beautiful castle behind you. Gabe, it's so good to see you. Take, tell us a little bit about this famous castle behind you. Yeah. Angela, happy St. Patrick's week to you. It's not just a day celebration here across Ireland. It's an all-week event with parties going on through the weekend. Hey, this is beautiful Kilkenny Castle. This is one of, probably one of the best preserved castles across Ireland. It dates back to 1195. Uh, and uh, it is open to the public. You can do guided or self-guided tours. Uh, we got a great shot from inside uh, the gardens here at the castle. This is just a beautiful 50-acre property along the River Nore. And uh, for those of you who have been here, you know this is a beautiful medieval city. It dates back to the 6th century. Uh, and in fact, uh, in the 1300s, it would have been the site of the very first witch trials here in Ireland. In the 1600s, for about a decade, it served as the capital of Ireland. Uh, and uh, today, it's just a beautiful, um, walkable, a welcoming city. And uh, the buzz is building as uh, we get ready for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, Angela. Yeah, you said it's a week of you know celebrations, a lot of things going on. But when you talk about the preps actually for tomorrow and the festivities, what does that look like? So that's, uh, you're absolutely right. I've been across Ireland the last couple of days and pretty much any town or village or city is getting ready for their own St. Patrick's Day Parade and you're going to see them uh, sort of vary in themes. Here in, in Kilkenny, uh, the theme this year is Circus 250, celebrating the fact that 250 years ago, uh, the circus officially arrived in Ireland. So a lot of performers from Ireland, but they're also welcoming a lot of acrobatic and musical acts from Chile, Brazil, Germany, and even Ukraine. Now, 90 miles uh, about northeast from here is, of course, the city of Dublin, uh, and I'm going to be heading down there uh, tomorrow for their parade. This is probably, this is definitely the biggest parade in the in the country. Second largest St. Paddy's Day parade in the world after the one they throw out there in uh, New York City. And the theme this year is one, as in unity, celebrating unity for amongst the Irish, of course, and amongst the international community. And you're going to see a lot of uh, U.S. marching bands from high schools and, and from um, uh, and university. Purdue University is going to have a contingency uh, on the parade route as well. So uh, a lot of Americans coming out, uh, lining the streets. About half a million people will be descending on Dublin for this parade tomorrow. I love that. We got to have Purdue on um, last week before they left. Hey, real quick, too, I want to talk about King Charles because that coronation is coming up in May. Daniel, um, fascinated with this, spends a lot of time over there. Um, and I know you visited the royal family's Irish residence as well. That's right. You know, when they come to Ireland, they go to Northern Ireland, and they have their own castle there. This is Hillsborough Castle, uh, and I got to hang out here yesterday. Uh, they, they, you know, they opened to the public in 2019, had to take a pause during the pandemic, and just now are re-welcoming guests. About 100 acres of beautiful manicured gardens, and inside some historic pieces of art, and some historic places, uh, some rooms as well. I mean, I got to hang out in what's called the relaxation room. This is where, if King Charles wants to hang out with the grandkids for a couple of hours, this is where they go in. Beautiful family portraits, uh, wonderful furnishings, and I also got to visit the throne room, uh, which features what they call chairs of state. This is where King Charles and um, uh, the Queen Consort uh, Camilla uh, sat back in September, a couple of days after the Queen had passed away, to accept condolences from VIPs and friends uh, and guests. But the beautiful thing is that now we as the public get to visit and actually have tours of the inside and of course the gardens which are absolutely spectacular in the little beautiful town of Hillsborough in Northern Ireland. We are out of time but I wanted to see I mean we are literally out of time but do you want does the mayor of that town want to say hi real quick? Yeah we got a couple of seconds uh, the mayor David Fitzgerald the mayor of Kilkenny a quick message to our friends there in Indianapolis. So you're so welcome here to the medieval capital of Ireland. We're so happy to have you. We look forward to seeing you all here on St. Patrick's Day. And come and visit us. Um, we're here a thousand years of history Aww. on your doorstep. We've got our wonderful castle. We've got our round tower at the under, other end of the city. A thousand years goes back to the Vikings. So if you really want to get a flavor of Ireland, Kilkenny is the place to be. And a welcoming group of folks as well. So, so yeah, about 90 miles, easy drive from Dublin. Once, yeah. you, once you land, make your way out here. I'll, 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 I'll join you for a pint, Angela. All right, thank you. Hey, I know we'll see you tomorrow too. Pa the St. Patrick's Day Parade tomorrow in our 7 o'clock hour. So we might get to see Purdue's All-American Marching Band as well. So make sure you tune in for that.